Hi guys, it's Sana here at Global Zoomers, and today I'm just going to be showing you a little bit of Asian fusion. It's a very, very popular style of zooming at the moment. This is just a little black toy Pluto named Tina. Uh, I'll be using my wall for model today, and that's five blades in one, a 9, 10, 15, 30, and a 40 blade. I just wanted to share one tiny little tip with you. She's already been bathed and blow dried, and her toenails are cut. Uh, we're just going to shave out her pad. Now you see all this stuff around. If you come in on the 40 blade and you just sort of edge it around the toe, you got to be careful and this is going to take you a little bit of time to learn, but this is really going to help you shape up your bevels. So I'm not shaving into the top of the foot, I'm just leveling that off. This is just a quick little trick to uh, help you with commercial grooming. So I just edge that off around and that's going to help set up my bubble. So once I got that done, um, she's getting ready right now for a grooming contest. So we're going to grow out her legs a little bit. I'm going to use the brown one, the peach one, the number one on my cordless clipper on a number 40 blade. So I would like to scissor this piece in on her neck. So I want to start well behind that. So I'm just going to take the number one and I'm going straight off. I'm just blending that off of her thigh and wrapping it around the body. Now notice how I'm going with the hair. I'm not going like this because that's going to give you really serious clipper marks that you will not be able to get rid of. So I'm just blending that off the shoulder. And I usually go around the first time just fairly quickly, just taking off, I call it bulking it out. And I'm also taking out some hair on the back of her thigh so I can set in her angulation. This is where you're setting the angulation. Now, I'm not touching the back of her neck because I'd like to leave that so I can scissor it. Just taking off her ribs, following the shape of her body. So I take it off quickly one time, then I'm going to just use some of my Artero anti Sat spray and I just give her a little spray. And I'm going to brush that back up. <laughs> so you want to give that a good brushing. And then you're going to take that same blade again and you're going to do it a second time. This time, I like to do it with love and a little bit more conviction, making sure that I'm getting all those little hairs. These uh, snap-on attachments are really what's going to help you with your commercial grooming as far as speed goes. I honestly, every day for the commercial dog grooming, I wouldn't be able to get as much work done as I do or nearly as well in such a timely fashion without these attachments. Now I'm just blending that off there, okay? Now, like I said before, we're growing her out a little bit because we'd like her to be in a little bit more dramatic haircut, so we want to grow her legs out. But one way that you could do for a commercial haircut that would be lovely is using the A blade. The lavender blade on the legs it would be a lovely length, but for today, we're going to ask her to just go ahead and scissor the legs. So I've got her body cut in. I want to make sure that my pads are done. My toenails are done every time. So you just take your paw and you're going to comb it straight down. And I'm just going to see if we can get in nice and close. And I like to use my curved scissors. Be very careful when you're going around the bottom of the paw that you don't touch the paw. So once I've taken off the bottom, I put the weight back down onto the foot. And I take my curved scissors and I just follow it around. This is called a bevel. 
Bubbles can be quite tricky. I see a lot of groomers over the years struggling with the bubbles. You just need to uh, slow down, practice. If you use these tips every time, they will certainly help you. So now I'm going to just move over to my straight scissors. that I'm holding her tail in the position where she would run around with it. I'm just going to set in her angulation. This is called the pin bone. So we're just naturally following the natural shape of the dog and the line. So this is your pin bone, but we want to show that off. The tail on this particular haircut is more like an inverted carrot, somewhat like a Kerry Blue's tail. So the back of the tail is quite short, but you want to see when I'm scissoring in the top line, I hold it straight off so that I don't get a divot over top of the tail set and croup. And try to always get this little piece. It's a brat, that one, so make sure you get that off. Okay, so when I'm working on commercial grooming, I generally tend to work back to front. Uh, I don't think it's important on which way you do it. I just feel that it's important that you always do it the same way. I've found over the years that this will help improve your speed. And say, for example, if the telephone rang or a customer came, you would always know which order you were in, so you don't forget to do something. For example, toenails, the ears, important things. So we just take that little bubble off the back. We put the coat back down on the ground. We want to comb it into position. That's a good little trick too. If you just push this hair on the knee or the stifle, it's easier for you to sizzle that off. checking my work from side to side. <clears throat> I find a lot of times that you get one side better than the other. Everybody has a good and a bad side. So make sure you're keeping in mind to that. So we're pretty happy. So I'm just going to do one more clipper on her back and finish <clears throat> the back end of her and I'll switch her around and do the front end. Now this is my final time I'm going to use my snap on, so I want to just go over it a bit harder. Make sure I get all those little bits. Get some nice finish on it. 